I do not see evidence in archaeology or history for a historical Jesus. Yeah, well, I do. I mean, uh, that's why I wrote the book. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, I have a whole book on it. <laughs> I mean, uh, so th there is a lot of evidence. I mean, there, there is so much evidence that it is, it is not, I mean, I know in the, in the crowds you all run around with, it's commonly thought that Jesus did not exist. Let me tell you, once you get outside of your conclave, there's nobody who, I mean, this is not even an issue for scholars of antiquity. It is not an issue for scholars. There is no scholar in any college or university in the Western world who teaches classics, ancient history, New Testament, early Christianity, any related field who doubts that Jesus existed. Now, that is not evidence. That is not evidence. Just because everybody thinks so doesn't make it evidence. But if you want to know about the theory of evolution versus the theory of creationism, and every scholar in every reputable institution in the world thinks that believes in evolution, it may not be evidence, but if you've got a different opinion, you better have a pretty good piece of evidence yourself. There, the reason for thinking Jesus exists is because he is abundantly attested in early sources. That's why. And I give the details in my book. Uh, early and independent sources uh, indicate that Jesus, certainly that Jesus existed. One author that we know about knew Jesus' brother and knew Jesus' closest disciple, Peter. He's an eyewitness to both Jesus' closest disciple and his brother. So, I mean, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, again, I, res I respect your disbelief, but I, I, you know, if you want to go where the evidence goes, I think, that, I think that atheists have done themselves a, mis, a, a disservice by jumping on the bandwagon of mythicism because, frankly, it makes, it makes you look foolish to the outside world. It's, if that's what you're going to believe, you just look foolish. Uh, you, you are much better off going with historical evidence and arguing historically rather than coming up with the theory that Jesus didn't exist. Sorry.